Did an American F-35 just rewrite the rules of the Middle Eastern game? In a heart-stopping showdown over Yemen, a Houthi rebel cruise missile primed for devastation met its fiery end at the hands of the most advanced fighter jet in the world. Today, we're talking about a real-world Top Gun moment straight out of the headlines. An F-35 Lightning II fighter jet phasing off against a Houthi cruise missile in the skies above Yemen. Buckle up because this story is packed with high-tech weaponry, daring maneuvers, and the geopolitical chess game playing out in the Middle East. Setting the stage To truly understand the gravity of this F-35 intercept, we need to zoom in on the cauldron of conflict boiling over in Yemen. This war, now in its ninth year, has seen immense human suffering, with millions displaced and countless lives lost. The Houthis, a rebel group with ties to Iran, have been locked in a brutal fight with the Saudi-backed Yemeni government. The Houthis have used drones and cruise missiles to launch attacks on Saudi Arabia, their wealthy neighbor and key player in the region. These attacks, often targeting civilian infrastructure, have understandably inflamed tensions and drawn the U.S., a close ally of Saudi Arabia, deeper into the conflict. In this volatile atmosphere, the arrival of the F-35 was a game-changer. This fifth-generation fighter jet with its stealth capabilities, advanced sensors, and devastating firepower represented a significant escalation of U.S. involvement. Saudi Arabia, eager to bolster its defenses against Houthi attacks, eagerly invested in the F-35 program, becoming the first country in the Middle East to receive these cutting-edge machines. So, here we are, with the Red Sea serving as a tense stage for this real-world drama. Imagine the vast expanse of the water, a crucial shipping lane and gateway to the Zeus Canal, on one side, Saudi Arabia, with its gleaming F-35s patrolling the skies. On the other, the Houthi-controlled territories, simmering with resentment and armed with rudimentary yet dangerous weaponry. And then, a Houthi cruise missile pierces the air, hurtling towards Saudi soil, carrying the potential for devastation. This is the moment where the F-35 pilot steps into the spotlight, with a fate of countless lives and regional stability hanging in the balance, their skill and the jet's technology will be put to the ultimate test. The Daring Intercept Inside the F-35 cockpit, the scene is one of controlled chaos. Alarms blare as the onboard systems detect the incoming Houthi missile. The pilot, helmet glued to the heads-up display, receives a torrent of data. The missile's trajectory, projected impact zone, and potential damage. They have mere seconds to react. Trained for this exact scenario, the pilot's mind operates with almost machine-like precision. Years of simulations and rigorous training kick in. They analyze the threat, assess their options, and make a split-second decision. No time for heroics, only pure calculation. Here's where the F-35's unique capabilities come into play. Its stealth coating makes it nearly invisible to raiders, giving it an edge in surprise attacks. But stealth alone isn't enough. The pilot needs to close the distance quickly before the missile reaches its target. They push the throttle forward, the G-forces spinning them to their seat as the F-35 roars to life. With the missile closing in fast, the pilot locks onto its heat signature using the F-35's advanced targeting system. This isn't just any missile. It's a sophisticated air-to-air -air projectile programmed to home in on its target with laser precision. The pilot's finger twitches on the trigger, and with a deafening roar, the F-35 launches its countermeasure. We witness a breathtaking ballet of destruction unfolding in the skies. The F-35's missile strikes through the air, guided by its complex algorithms while the Houthi projectile barrels towards its intended target. The tension is palpable, the outcome hanging by a thread. Technology takes center stage The successful intercept of the Houthi missile wasn't just about a skilled pilot and a fancy fighter jet. It was a masterclass in next-generation technology, a symphony of sensors and algorithms working in perfect harmony. 
let's take a closer look at the technological backbone of this operation. The F-35 isn't just fast and stealthy, it's a flying data center. Its ANAPG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array or AESA radar paints a detailed picture of the surrounding airspace, scanning for threats miles away. This radar doesn't just passively listen for echoes, it actively blasts out radio waves, allowing it to see even tiny objects hiding in radar clutter. Think of it as a hyper-advanced searchlight that can illuminate targets with pinpoint precision. But the AESA radar is just one instrument in the orchestra. The F-35 also boasts an array of other sensors, including electro-optical targeting systems, radio frequency receivers, and even a distributed aperture system that uses strategically placed sensors on the aircraft's skin to provide 360-degree situational awareness. All this data is then fused together by onboard computers, creating a real-time picture of the battlefield that's far more detailed and accurate than anything seen in previous generations of fighters. And then, there's the brain of the operation, the F-35's integrated mission system. This complex software suite processes the sensor data, analyzes threats, and even suggests potential courses of action to the pilot. It's like having a virtual wingman in the cockpit, a super-powered tactical expert crunching numbers and providing recommendations in real time. In the case of the Houthi missile intercept, all of these elements came together seamlessly. The AESA radar detected the incoming threat, the other sensors tracked its trajectory, and the mission system calculated the optimal intercept point. Then, the pilot, aided by the system's suggestions, launch the air-to-air -air missile with pinpoint accuracy. Beyond the Battlefield The successful intercept of the Houthi missile by the F-35 sends a powerful message, resonating far beyond the immediate airspace above Yemen. Let's unpack the layers of meaning and implications within this event. First and foremost, it serves as a clear display of U.S. military might and technological superiority. The F-35, a symbol of cutting-edge weaponry, successfully neutralized a threat to a key ally, showcasing its effectiveness in real-world combat. This sends a strong message of deterrence to potential adversaries, demonstrating U.S. capabilities and its resolve to protect its interests in the region. However, the message goes beyond simple muscle flexing. It's also a crucial piece in the complex and ever-shifting geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. The conflict in Yemen, fueled by regional rivalries and sectarian tensions, has drawn in major players like the US, Saudi Arabia, and Iran. The F-35's intervention further complicates the equation potentially escalating tensions and altering the balance of power within the region. Furthermore, this event raises questions about shifting alliances and power dynamics. Saudi Arabia, traditionally a close U.S. ally, has recently been criticized for its human rights record and its role in the Yemen conflict. The F-35's deployment could be seen as a reaffirmation of this alliance, despite growing concerns about Saudi Arabia's actions. Alternatively, it could also be interpreted as a way for the U.S. to maintain its influence in the region, even as its relationship with Saudi Arabia evolves. So, there you have it. The F-35 versus the Houthi missile, a story of technological prowess, strategic maneuvering, and geopolitical tensions. We've covered the facts, the technology, and the wider context. But ultimately, it's up to you to decide what this event means and how it might shape the future of the region. Thanks for watching, and let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it.